हाई फ्रेंड्स कैसे हैं आप लोग टुडे वी हैव अ गेस्ट हिज नेम इज़ काशिफ नज़ीर एंड ही विल एक्सप्लेन अस एंड टेल अस अबाउट हाउ टू राइट रिसर्च पेपर बेसिकली ही विल टेल अस अबाउट थ्री एंड फोर थिंग्स नंबर वन हाउ टू राइट अ रिसर्च पेपर नंबर टू वट आर द स्कोप्स ऑफ नैन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड नंबर थ्री हाउ टू ज्वाइन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज अ जे आर एफ सो हिज नेम इज़ काशिफ नज़ीर ही हैज़ डन बी टेक एंड एम टेक फ्राम जामिया इन नैन टेक्नोलॉजी फील्ड सो वेलकम काशिफ नज़ीर हाउ आर यू Hello I am doing well how are you thank you very much for I'm having me I am fine I am fine so basically uh, as i have told you his name is Kashif Nazir and he has done his masters from Jamia Millia Islamia in nanotechnology department and after that he has worked as an assistant professor then he has worked as JRF in different organization so he will introduce himself and t- t- tell us about uh, how to uh, wh- how to write an research paper and uh, what is the scope of nanotechnology and uh, how to join any organization as a grf so first of all first question is that uh, how to write any research paper how can we start and what are the basic things which we have to consider before writing any research paper well i would like to thank you for having me here and i first of all and i would uh, like to say that i would definitely need some feedback if uh, i am wrong in my i experiences then i would like to be corrected okay, okay, so thank you, thank if you. you find anything which is uh, which does not match your uh, curiosity then please comment in the comment section okay so about research paper well i am not a very i am i don't have a very vast research experience but of what little i do have yes. i have learned that uh, one of the most important thing is to have a liter- do a literature survey or to carry out a literature survey Uh, literature survey is one of the more fo- you can say it is the foundation of research okay basically uh, before starting any research paper uh, before starting any research paper we have to do this, uh, literature survey so uh, can you tell me what were the what was the topic of your research paper uh, well i would like to correct this information a bit before literature survey you need to have a aim right okay okay objective uh, objective about what you are, uh, what you are going to research about okay. okay after that you you carry out the literature survey so uh, so the first thing is to choose a topic my my topic uh, my one of my topic was related to uh, study of uh, huesler alloy uh, basically co2 cral which is a huesler alloy and i studied it studied its magnetic uh, electric and optical properties along with uh, its uh, junctions and whatever properties were uh, within the uh, within the material okay basically uh, you have studied a specific material yes. its electric and me- uh, mechanical properties magnetic so, magnetic magnetic so have you manufactured that material or well, uh, it was uh, it, available in the market it it was a ma- it was a experimental research so uh, what uh, what i had to do there are many ways you can uh, you can have the material with you Okay. you could purchase it from of the market or you could uh, uh, manufacture, manufacture it, it uh, by uh, there are various m- manufacturing techniques and i am sure you are aware since you belong to mechanical okay, okay, department okay, okay. so, so uh, my m- in my research i just deposited a thin film of the material and i studied its thin film and the properties uh, uh, that were with, uh, within it okay basically you have done experimental work or it was theoretical work well first uh, the, uh, the uh, where i worked as a junior research fellow that was uh, experimental okay but after that uh, i continued uh, my research but uh, since uh, i did not have a, an experimental setup so i uh, carried out a theoretical studies and it was on a different topic from this okay so uh, basically my question was that we have actually debated uh, from the question basically question was that ki how to write a research paper if anyone doesn't know anything how he can start yes. how she he and she can start he is interested to write any paper so how he can start well first of all you need to have a topic of interest okay. uh, let's uh, nanotechnology okay nanotechnology. So then you have to be specific of what you want to research about then you have to go and perform literature survey this is of i'm sharing from my little limited knowledge which i have and from my experiences Uh, well there are n number of ways to approach but what uh, uh, what i did and what was what is specific to me that i'm sharing uh, you should choose a topic you should perform literature survey then you should uh, have uh, if you are going for an experimental research then you should have experimental setup for that and you should perform your experiments uh, note the readings note the observations then compose them in the form of a paper there are 
various formats of a paper but there are uh, but some things are common like introduction is common Literature in all like the journals uh, i'm not saying the content of the introduction is common but the part is common that you have to you've got to have a introduction then there is the part if there is an experiment involved then experiment uh, is mentioned or if other methodology for example if you are doing a simulation then that methodology what equations you are inculcating within the papers that is mentioned and after that uh, you have to show the observations whatever you have observed you have to show them in the paper and after okay. that you have to conclude so basically these are the parts which these are the different sections basically yes. you have to do one by one mm. so actually there is a problem among the students uh, students are confused because uh, if you are choosing any field uh, most of the papers have uh, more or less same more or less same introduction part so how can i uh, write that introduction part how can i remove plagiarism how can i uh, can you help in that please explain something well uh, there are softwares which uh, help in removing the plagiarism you no, can no, i am talking about uh, int basically introductions are 80 to 90% same for all the papers okay so how can i write that in a different way so that it looks different well you have got to get creative okay you have to uh, for that you must have good writing skills uh, that's not very necessary but you have got to think outside the box for okay. example there is a sentence which says that uh, Uh, this disease is affecting this section of people now there are a multiple number of ways you can frame this sentence you've got to get creative you have got to read you've got to do some readings and then you have to build a idea in your mind for that uh, for in order to write, write down that sentence and believe me that uh, writing a paper is not very difficult for the first time it's the reviewing process that you have to do it can take from months to even in year if you are writing a good paper okay. that's for my limited knowledge okay so do you have any experience of writing any review paper no not at the moment i haven't written review paper i have read a few so you could go on the internet and you could easily so find basically them basically how many such papers you have right now i have written i have written just two two papers so uh, so both papers have more or less same field or topic no they are uh, completely different they are completely different So, but uh, not exactly completely different but uh, the thing is one is uh, one is pertaining to the magnetic properties the other is to optical properties but both are both are materials related to materials no the materials were different, different. but though uh, both have uh, a common uh, common factor which is thin film okay okay so both are the nano materials or they are both they are nano materials nano but materials. Uh, they both are uh, pertaining to th thin films So our first question was that how to start or how to write any research paper. So as he has explained all the things if you have any doubt you can ask us. Now I want to know uh, next question is that what is the scope of nanotechnology as you have experience of nanotechnology as you have written papers and research also. So can you tell us about something uh, what are the scopes of nanotechnology and uh, can you explain something? Well nanotechnology is playing a big part in the modern world. Okay. there are many fields one could go to if he excels in them for example he could either go to uh, the medicinal part or he could go to the electronic industry he could he could go to uh, uh, computer science in uh, department okay and uh, he could go uh, there am in fact it's an interdisciplinary uh, so field so if uh, someone asked me is uh, nanotechnology is growing or it has been established so what will you say it is growing it, it is, is growing. growing yes and in future it can grow Because more exponentially uh, there is a quote by a famous scientist richard feynman okay. he he commented that there is plenty of room at the bottom okay. what he meant was that we have we have we have been exhausted by the tech technologies which are in bulk size okay. but we haven't really explored what is at a minuscule scale Okay. right and nano so scale, and right? nano is uh, something which is which complements the statement of richard feynman which he made uh, i think uh, uh, some decades ago okay so uh, basically you will suggest that uh, students can switch to the nano technology yes, section if they are interested if they are interested if they are interested and if they can invest their energy and passion into it okay. then it it will be a very exciting field and a very uh <clears throat> and a very fruitful field okay okay 
so uh, what were your experience during uh, your masters when you have done masters in nanotechnology so uh, will you suggest anyone uh, who is from different background like mechanical masters bachelors in mechanical uh, it will be difficult for him or her uh, no it will not be difficult if he is willing to go stretch his limits if he is willing to put in work then anything is uh, uh, easy for him okay. and especially if he is mechanic uh, from the mechanical background then uh, there is a complete sci a complete uh, research which is devoted to the mechanical uh, section of the nanotechnology. That is material science. Material science is absolutely related to nanotechnology because there are many uh, sensors which actually inculcate mechanical properties and they sense mechanical things. Okay, so okay. it is a very demanding in mechanical as well as and uh, there are many uh, in fact it's an interdisciplinary field okay. so anyone can come anyone here. can come all in. Are all welcome. all, are, all okay. are welcome yes that's okay. the right so uh, i have next question is that uh, you have experience uh, you have worked as an jrf in which organization and what was your experience there how you have joined that organization please well, tell us uh, I was a JRF at Triple IT Allahabad. Okay. And I join. Uh, what you have to do is you have to go on the website and you have to apply. There are uh, they mention the vacancies there. Okay. Okay. Some of the institutes they ask for gate and JRF and some they don't ask for gate so and JRF. So you were there by gate or just? No, I, I I had to I I had done my M Tech and uh, the qualifying degree was um, tech. Okay. okay okay there was no gate requirement no interview uh, yeah some places they might ask for gate okay. or jrf but uh, net jrf i'm talking about net jrf okay, okay. some places they might and they won't so it depends on the institute where you are applying okay okay so you have one year as a jrf experience okay. yes so what was your experience there you have done any experiment there? yes i wrote a research paper uh, which i mentioned earlier useless alloy Okay. So, I performed the experimental things that were required in the contract. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, you were there, you were getting any scholarship or stipend or? Yes, there was a, a stipend, a monthly stipend of uh, whatever uh, HRD ministry they, it gives. Okay, okay. So, you, how was your experience there? It was uh, Yes, okay. uh, it's a pretty exciting experience actually when you, if you are passionate about research, research and uh, then it's a very exciting place uh, to be. Is there any career or is there any benefit of this uh, working as a JRF? Well, if you are working as a JRF, so in future... The career you... benefit is that you will get uh, good research experience, you will get connections in the industry, okay, okay. Uh, so, so in the academy as well, okay. and uh, you will gain, you will not lose anything, you will gain. So if you are if you are passionate if you are joining if you are passionate about research then jrf is a good thing okay 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 if you want to continue your future in as a researcher or you want to uh, do research then you got you it's very fruitful and helpful for you it's a good okay. thing yes okay okay if anyone uh, doesn't wants if uh, uh, basically it will be helpful for all kind of uh, yes, people uh, if want if you want to switch uh, join any company or any teaching section or research uh, organization it will be benef beneficial for you, na? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay. So basically, he has taught, uh, taught, uh, told us about three questions, basically three questions. And I hope all these three questions are clear. If you have any doubt, you can ask us. Thank you. Meet you soon in next video. Thank you.